Hello everybody, I'm Lokwood, you are you, and this is more RimWorld Alpha 13. When we last left off, we had, well, I think, I'm pretty sure we survived a, uh, another attack, uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, Nora started cleaning, yeah, and uh, we witnessed Gaz... And I believe it was Moo playing some horseshoes. Our deer is trying to break in and steal food. You thieving animal. You thieving... Oh my god, you thieving animal. Can I tell this like no animals? Like, keep tightly closed? Please, seriously, that's, that, that's horrible. Um, so this stuff is still frozen, so that, that, that's really good. Um, yeah, in the last episode we also, I believe, the last episode of the episode before, we put some more solar panels up, some more battery boxes up. Uh, we're spacing them out in case they go boom. Uh, they're in a stone room in case they go boom, and they have a steel door in case they go boom, so they don't kill our entire colony through a sheer luck of stupid storyteller yeah we also put up some joy buildings or spots so our colonists can relieve the stress of living on a barren world and working the hands to the bone because it's all they have to survive so uh, yeah they're they're, really, they're lazy slackers uh, pretty much end of story yeah yeah, ah, uh, hmm, yeah. Psychic drone! Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain, which is like 90% of our colony. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to be affected to be affecting the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. So this month, these women are ha having um, two weeks of extreme pain. Lovely. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to be any of these guys this week. I really wouldn't. No. No. No, nope, you can keep it. You can keep it. All right, let's trim this up a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that looks good, and, uh, yeah. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, hmm, yeah. Moo's researching. She, I believe, yes, she is working on machining. Hopefully we can get to the point where we can start making, uh, some, com like, electronic components so that we don't run out completely and entirely. Now, it's high time we start digging out our fortress. So let's dig that out to right about there. How much you want to bet that this is Stranger Danger Zone? Alright, we got some wood. That That's good. Which means we can select wooden doors, even though we can't build them. Doors, walls. Oh, let's I. Uh, yeah, that way, uh, yeah, they're they're cheaper than steel, and we don't need steel on the inside here. Now, granted, stuff inside can still catch fire, can still make things go boom. All right, and we got this room done. I forgot to place that bed down. And that is every room in our current little fort roomed up. And you know what I just noticed? If you zoom out and you kind of squint and tilt your head to the side, our base looks like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> You got the little cockpit here and the main entrance areas, you know, and then you got the little, yeah, oh, that's, that's kind of funny. 
I, I just it just like struck me all at once. It's like, hey, wait a second, that kind of looks like the shape of the Millennium Falcon. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need to write something down here real quick. All right. Uh, what else we got going on here today? Um, Flossie's building away. Excellent. Excellent. So there's not a lot to do right at the moment. Um, I suppose suppose what I could do is we could I could figure this out because um, we can come in here to planning mode yes yes planning mode all right so planning mode security we okay so we do have the steel improvised turrets so we want the turrets when we place them to just barely reach our entrance And I'm thinking of actually putting them in a true semicircle. That way, every single turret can hit on the way in. Yeah, I like that idea, actually. Yes, yes, I do. I truly like that idea. So let's put one right there. And right, see so that was on this line right here. Four up. One, two, three, four, right there. All right, we're gonna have to mine out this in order to be able to get him to hit that. Uh, this guy's gonna be on that already, so let's build us a switch right there put some power cables to that and to that and then to there that way we'll be able to turn on and off the turrets at will Oh, very good. They're building stuff. Oh, that's incredibly awesome. All right, how's the, the obedience training on the deer going? None, none, none. Uh, the monkey has also subsided. It's not being done. Because we got our colonists doing way too much stuff. So not a surprise. NG, how's NG doing? NG's probably still cranky as all hell because she's naked. Yep. She's letting them, uh, those girl parts hang free because she doesn't have a choice. Because she attacked us and we stripped her down because we needed her helmet and her piece of body armor. I think it was body armor. No, it was the personal shield. Yeah, she had the personal shield. Well, that's what you get for attacking us. All right, Flossie, uh, he needs a weapon again. Why does... Alright, Kess... Keys? I don't like... I, I keep saying Kess. Uh, okay, Agent. He's got a gun. Nor's got a gun. Gaz has a gun. Flossie's the only one that needs the gun. So where did that... So survival rifle, right there. We do now have an extra survival rifle floating around, I think... Not quite sure. Hmm. All right, well, let's speed time up and let things fly by. So, yeah, I think before I build my back defense here, uh, I'm going to kit out this dome area here that I'm talking about with turrets. And I think that putting them in a... S Are you serious? It just blew up. God dang! Thank God for the rain. All right, we need to build a piece there. Gaz. No, not clean. Build. Build it. No, not the turret. Not the turret. 
the power cable. God dang! Let's forbid that until they get all the cable and the switch built. That right there is something that needs changed. Um, I'm telling you to build this power con it, but it takes me three times to tell you to build it before you actually get to it because you're worried about all the stuff over here. No. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. All right. Let's uh, put a little bit more power cabling in here. And let's see. Furniture. Standing lamps. Let's put some standing lamps in here. Yeah. Let's actually put them there and there and cancel that one and that one. And yeah, um, let's put in some wooden potted plants. Keep our growers busy. We can't put one here because these haven't been built yet. Yeah, that's right. We can't. We have to wait for them to get built. Oh, uh, yeah. One thing I would like to see added to the game, though, is like functional furniture. Right, so this is all the furniture, right? We've got some beds, some animal chairs, a couple of chairs, a couple of tables, and an equipment rack. Um, I want to see... Like, dressers and closets and cabinets um, and stuff like that added. And I didn't want that all to be steel. I want it to be wood. Yeah, I, I want to see furniture that, like... Because there's things like parkas in the game, right, that serve an actual purpose. A parka keeps your, your colonists warm in the winter. Um, if we had functional dressers and closets and, and wardrobes and armoires and, and stuff like that, maybe, like, a secret compartments. Um, let's... Um, maybe, like, wall shelving and, and stuff like that. They could take these things that that they like and put it in this so like keys here he's he's an he's a skinny guy right when the winter comes he is going to need a parka which we're not gonna have because we don't have any cotton growing which i probably should do <laughs> uh, even though it's the fall yeah it's it's we can try it whoopsie i forgot about that uh, cotton. There we go. Yes, that was stupidness of me. Why didn't anyone tell me you're gonna want to grow cotton? You're gonna want to grow cotton. Yeah, yeah. All right. We will have two turrets up by the time the next raid happens. <laughs> All right. Giggity giggity. But yeah, so so we build these the the parkas and the the snow pants and the snow boots and, and stuff like that for these people. Um, but when the winter time comes, they don't take or you know they put it on. But when the springtime time comes, they don't take it off. You have to physically tell them take this shit off. And at that point, they become up upset because you have to tell them to wear something else because they're too stupid to go wear something else. And so they get the forced-to-wear clothing moodlet, which, you know, puts them down. If I had a, 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 a closet, right, laying right here, let's get rid of this, I could, could right-click on it and say, change clothes. So he changes his winter clothes out for his summer clothes or cold weather clothing for hot weather clothing and vice versa. So that would be a very, very cool oh, cool thing. Infestation, I was waiting for this. A bug hive has emerged. It will slowly spawn bugs as well as produce additional hives if you don't want to infest the whole area. Muster your forces and destroy it. But beware, the bugs will defend their hive. <gasps> it's right in our freaking fort! Oh my god! Rally the troops! Rally the troops! Oh my god! Moo, you have nothing! 
Oh my goodness. Um. 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 Brain fart. Derp a derp. Uh, yeah. Equip the steel knife. Okay, yeah, dude, dude, seriously. Mega spiders? Holy crapes. Come on, kill the mega spiders, guys! It's, it's not that hard, they're just spiders. Step on it, and if that doesn't work, sit on it! Okay, how... Health. Oh my god, he is really hurt. Oh, they killed that one. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, rescue Flossie. Uh, rescue Nora. Rescue Keys. Attack the hive. I, I've never, okay, so it's, it's decent. All right, so I want you to equip the granite club and attack the hive with her. We need to kill this thing, like, now. Because those things seriously fucked us up. Ooh, we got insect jelly. Very cool. So that is one of the benefits of a hive, is it gives you the, uh, the insect jelly. All right, now I want you to re-equip your survival rifle. Which, um, let's, let's check out this... Oh. Agent, you jerk! I was going to look at that. Insect jelly. Jelly stored and used as food by oversized insect. It is smooth, rich, and immensely satisfying. Because of its unique biological properties, it can nourish almost any creature and never rots. So there is that. And agent, you greedy some bitch. Seriously. All right, we need to put another wooden wall there because the mega scarabs just kind of. This is our wall now. We don't want it here. Yeah, tear it down. Get rid of it. Get rid of it, boys. Why is that alpha beaver rotting? Hmm. Oh well. All right, so we're going to not allow rotten. Corpses, it's third, okay. Okay, so they're not allowing rotten. All right, so let's put a storage area. Storage area, let's put a storage area over here. And we're gonna copy this one. And paste that one, except this one's gonna be rotten. Yeah, we're gonna clear all, allow rotten meals and foods. Yeah, just all foods. Uh, and corpses. Yeah, and this one. This is probably not gonna work right. That's probably not going to work right at all. In fact, I know it's not. The idea is to get the rotten corpses out of here, but the the, the good ones over here... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to work right. Nora, I want you to haul the alpha beaver. We can do that. that that's, that's about all we can do. Disease! Flossie's developed an infection! Oh my god, in the left foot. Flossie! Flossie! The right leg got cut by the mega spiders. 4% immunity. It's going to take a while. Oh my god, another infection. Nora now has an infection. Did... Okay, good, it didn't crash. Uh, yeah, we need another doctor. We need another doctor. Flossie, you are now the secondary doctor. You were treated. Go treat. Wow, we've got, what, six people? And half of them can doctor. <laughs> that is not the norm. Usually you've got, like, three people and three people can medic. Medica pose. All right, Flossie. 
haul that mega spider into the Frieza. And haul that one into the Frieza. We don't want them to rot. That's a lot of meat. Gaz is fully healed. Splendid. Colonist needs treatment. Nora and Moo, because Nora's being the overachiever that she is, because I told her to be a medic as well. Yeah. Okay. So what can we do with this? Storage. Weapons. Okay, so we want to take weapons out of here. No weapons in here. There we go. And they should put the weapons in the arms closets here. We can hope. Yeah, we can hope. Alright, all the personal quarters are sealed up again. Uh, did we ever get that built? Yeah, okay, we got that rebuilt. Okay. So... Right, okay, I need to flick this. There we go. What's the shortcut for that? Seriously, what did I tell that shortcut to be? To write something. Talk of power, right bracket. Okay, yeah, um, let's make it Q. There we go. Much better. Yes, they're storing the weapons in the weapons racks, which is awesome. We got our own little armory right here. What is this? Oh, silver mace, right. Forgot I got that. Too much fun. Whoa. I, I hope he wasn't rotting... Or I hope he was not... Fresh when you put him out here. I hope he was rotting when you, when you put him out there. Because that'll suck. Ooh, Gaz is cleaning! Excellent! Gaz, can you mine? You can mine. Okay, let's put you to mining. Because we need to get this stuff done. We really need to get this stuff done. Because uh, Agent, or Moo, yeah, it's, it's Moo, he's just not enough. Or, no, it's not It's not Moo, it's, it's, um, golly, what's, um, uh, who is it? Yeah, I think it's Flossy. Yeah, it's Flossy's are, are, are minor, I think, right now. Or, no, we lost somebody. Somebody died. Somebody died. We we lost a person there. Oh my gosh. Chantel. How did I not catch that? Keys. Keys was the one. Keys died. Oh my god. From what? Just from blood loss. Oh my god! Oh... Oh well. He was a lazy ass anyway. We didn't need him. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. He, he, how many times did he get... Just... Duh, what, what am I doing? And just drop his weapon and just walk around in a daze for a day at a time? Uh, I lost... I freaking lost count. There's no room for lazy people in my colony. We are all hard workers. If you're not a hard worker, you are a lazy, luffy, sluffy, smacking, and and, 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 and and all that stuff. And there's no room for you here. Leave. We don't want you. We kill you if you not leave. Kiss example. Yes. Prime example, kiss. We let him die. Because we did not like him. And how's the training going? Go oh, yes. Except you can't haul or rescue. Grr. 
And I don't think we have a cook. Yes, we still have a cook, Flossie. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We are out of meals. So in the morning, Flossie, your left foot is extreme. It's at 80%, almost 90. Your next treatment is in six hours. We have visitors. Okay. We need to keep an eye on this. <gasps> Nora! No! Oh, and the game is saying, fuck you again. It's time to let your colonists die. Okay, so we really need Flossie. Oh my god, Flossie. That infection. 97. Yeah, she is literally the only person that can doctor right now. We need that to heal on its own. Come on, come on. Oh, thank god. Whew. And she's incapacitated. She's passed out. We lost two of our doctors. Keys and Nora. Oh my god. This game is just, it's just, it's being brutal. It's being incredibly freaking brutal. I know we have the difficulty set on rough, but this is a bit rougher than rough in my opinion. All right, there's some uh, components. Oh my goodness. So who's, who's, you, you, you cook, cook, cook. Right, Flossie. We're, okay, good, she's cooking. Oh, thank goodness. Cook your heart off, woman. In fact, you can cook your heart off so hard that you can do this forever right now, okay? What is your, your skill? Eight. All right, fantastic. We won't get food poisoning, and the meals will be good forever because they're going to be in the freezer. Yes. Uh, research finished. Machining. All right. What do we want next? Uh, Devil Strand, Colored Lights, Hydroponics, Smithing, Tube Television, Fire Foam. I'm thinking that. Component Assembly. <gasps> okay, we need the Multi-Analyzer. We need the Multi-Analyzer. Can we build the Multi-Analyzer right now? No. What research gives us the multi... Okay, multi-analyzer. That's what we need. We, we need those damn components. We need them bad. All right, we're going to build some more security. We're going to build another turret. Right there. And right there. All right, that work. Okay, research is top priority. Yeah, get that stuff researched, man. Seriously. So our Millennium Falcon is a hearse. It is the transport of the dead, the vehicle of the damned. Beware all ye who enter this stone and steal Millennium Falcon, you shall die. Angie? How is Angie doing? Still in a really freaking good mood for being captured. Alright, how's our medicine doing, actually? We got 38. So, despite the fact that we've lost people, it wasn't because we lacked medicine, it was because they weren't doing their job! Arr. We're up to 27 meals, 26, 27, 28, 29, and she's going to bed. One in the morning and she's going to bed. That's dedication. We 
We need more solar panels. Ooh, escape pod. Oh my god. Spider. You're fucking fantastic with animals. Crack in your left radius, gunshot in your head, torso's cut, and a bite scar on your right leg. Oh my god. You're 34 years old. Chronologically, you are 88. Uh, I guess let's uh, let's go capture her, Flossie. Capture Spider. Moo is our warden. However, Flossie is our doctor, and this woman needs doctoring bad. Yeah, it's 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 a woman. Yeah, yeah, she needs doctored bad. She's got a gunshot in the head. Her brains are leaking out on the floor as we haul her over the sandbags. And then please help me. Please help me. Alright, she's doctoring her immediate Okay, let's let's see here. Um Give medicine. Try to recruit. Alright, already doctoring. She's going to get some medicine. Did you actually bandage anything up in that short time you were there? No, you did not. Which is fine. Bandage that gunshot wound. Good, woman. Bandage it good. And sh just regular bandage job. Poorly bandaged. Gah! Oh well, at least the she will heal up. Hopefully no uh, ill effects. Permanently. We just have to convince her to join because we are not the Millennium Falcon of the Damned. We are the Millennium Falcon of the Blessed because it is time up. If you enjoyed this episode, folks, please give a thumbs up. And if you did not like the episode because we lost two of our six colonists, hit that thumb button down below and leave a comment. Let me know what you think, how everything is doing. Until next time, I'm Loki, you are you, and this has been RimWorld, Millennium Falcon, the Ship of the Damned. Peace out.